This morning I received a phone call from a client and the client told me that they have a 4.7 interest rate on their mortgage and I'm thinking to myself, oh my God, would I love to help them refinance and save a lot of money every month. But then I heard they only had a $106,000 loan amount. Well, that's a pretty small loan. Then I asked them, well, how many years have you been in that mortgage? And they said eight. So I'm thinking to myself, I don't wanna put them back in a 30 year mortgage. How do I look at their situation and give them great advice on which mortgage term to pick? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So in this scenario, I looked at their current balance, I looked at their interest rate, and I'm thinking maybe a 10 year mortgage, maybe a 15 year mortgage. And you have to ask yourself, well, why? You know, why would I say that? Number, there's two reasons why I would say that. Number one, the interest rate's really low on those mortgages. And the second reason is, it's gonna speed up how fast they pay off that loan. If you look at a mortgage itself, who doesn't wanna pay off their mortgage? I know I wanna pay off my mortgage. A lot of my clients wanna do that. And because the loan amount is so small, that monthly payment's not gonna be too big for a 10 or a 15 year mortgage. It's critical that you talk to your loan officer and ask them questions. What kind of mortgage term should I have? Should I try to pay it off faster? Should I take some cash out? If you like this kind of message, you like this content, hit like and subscribe below. And once again, I wanna hear from you. Did you end up doing a 15 year or a 10 year mortgage? Let me know what kind of mortgage you either did or you wanna do. There are a lot of different mortgages out there. Sometimes you'll call in and you have a 30 year mortgage and you wanna see what a 30 year payment looks like. You know, I'll go ahead and we'll look at a 30 year payment with you. Then we'll compare it to maybe a 20 year or 15 year and we're gonna decide which payment is really best. But how do you know, should I refinance? Typically rule of thumb is, if you could come down 1% in interest rate, it's probably a good idea to refinance because you're gonna save enough money every month to recoup the closing costs. But there are so many other factors that are so critical. Again, you go back to how long have you had that mortgage? If you've been in that mortgage eight years, you might wanna go back to a 30 to have a lower payment, but now you have eight years more interest. And is that really good for you in your financial future? Again, speaking with a professional loan officer is critical in determining should I refinance, is it worth my while, and what kind of loan should I go after? You know, I love making a video like this because I'm empowering you to make the right decision for you and your family. I'm giving you the tools and the questions to determine what mortgage is right for you. If you ever need any advice, I want you to give me a call. I would love to help you work on your next refinance or home loan. Thank you.